everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra Plus Collective reading. So it's all placements of Libra, and I will be pulling cards for each zodiac sign regarding money and career at the end, towards the end of this reading. Look out for those time stamps. And you, sometimes there are general messages that follow. So do pay attention to the timeline. They are in the description box. Let's see what we have. Money and career, money and career guidance. Can have to do with your resources in general. You have integrity. So live your truth. Some of you may be looking to find a position where you can um, live your truth. Play. Make sure that you take the plunge and um, allow yourself to at least play with the idea that um, there are a lot of possibilities that you may not have thought of. And with play too, it's like tapping into your creative energy. And they say, take the plunge. And I said, make sure you take the plunge. It's, it's just allowing yourself to jump on opportunities when they come around, okay? Connection. Water unites. Beautiful. Maybe you're having something by the water, some event or something, or you're working with um, sound healing is coming to mind, or um, also children. Just something creative in general. And silence. Listen for moments of stillness. Yeah, so that's that taking that, that quiet reflection time you might need in your creative space here. Probably has to do with your own expression of your own, you know, purpose or joy. Let's see what else we got. This is the uh, Mystic Moon. Mystic Money Moon Oracle by Britta Bowman. And the first deck was by Christine Pidcamony. All right, let's see what we have. One, two cards, all right. We have, so this is about all the moon, you know, we have so many moons in the universe. So this is, uh, this moon is named Hyperion and the other one is Logue, or yeah, Logue. Um, power statement here with Hyperion is, I am open to brilliant new ideas and opportunities. It is safe for me to let go of my limitations. The shadow belief here would be, where would I get all the money? So some of us are wondering, you know, how, yeah, I'd love to get started, but it takes money, right? So making sure that um, you're open to possibilities when they come in. Things may come in uh, in a way you didn't expect. So the power statement with Logue is, when I care for money, money cares for me. It is safe for me to be passionate. Money is not important is that limiting belief. So some people say, ah, who needs money? Maybe because they don't have any, you know, that's something we tell ourselves maybe, or, um, you know, but, but when you care for money, money cares for you. In other words, take care of the resources you do have and you can expect them to multiply. It is safe for you to pursue your dreams with this card. This has to do with passionate action moving forward, passionate action. And, um, you know, this, this card, this moon Hyperion has to do too with, um, with revelations, insights, you know, making sure we're not limiting ourselves with tunnel vision. So that could be a block in the way. Making sure that, um, it's funny because you have a card here that says, um, well, actually it's the same one, but but they're about proceeding with passion and, and going after the passion, right? So, hmm. All right, let's, let's just get into some tarot. I think that's going to help us here. I think I'll use the the unofficial shitty tarot. That's S H I T T Y. The unofficial shitty tarot by Heidi Page, Ashley Brock, and Matt Edwards. And I choose this deck for these readings. Uh, it's new to me, actually. I think I've used it a couple times, but that's it. Um, because uh, they lost all their money. There was a show unofficially based on this. Do all this deck was unofficially based on possibly a show. I just saw 444. You know, your guidance, your angels are guiding you and protecting you. But anyway, in, if you know the story of, of uh, Schitt's Creek, then you know that um, they, 
<laughs> they lost all their money because they had a bad, you know, uh, business manager or whatever he was. And they ended up having to move to a town called Schitt's Creek. And, um, they actually, he hit the, the guy, the father, the main, one of the main characters in this, in this town or this story, uh, he had actually bought a town for his son, this guy as a joke. And um, it was called Shit's Creek, and that's why he bought it. It was a joke, but then they end up having to live there and run a motel out of it. So it's this great story of how they actually made it all work out somehow. Um, but yeah, they suffered huge losses. So the chariot here, um, this is like, you know, trying something you haven't tried. David here, he doesn't know how to ride a bike. Okay, he does. He doesn't know. It's very scary to him. Um, but he has his sister here. <laughs> watching over him and really cheering him on. And I feel like those are your angels watching over you and cheering you on and letting you know that um, as long as you're um, determined, you will be provided with the support you need. Um, you know, you, you've got to allow yourself to try things and, and make mistakes is also what's coming through in, in, with this card. You know, there was a lot of resistance. He did not want to get on this bike. He felt silly doing it even. All right, so... Um, this is, you know, pushing forward, even though you may still have your training wheels on, right? Okay, let's see what else. What else do we have? There's dad, <laughs> king of cups here. Okay, so he has... Um, he's doing a lot of thinking here and I think he's also feeling in this card, you know, he's feeling kind of powerless. It's feeling like, um, he's kind of at the bar on his own. I noticed that there's a big, uh, buck behind him and that has to do with showing yourself and others compassion. You're only human, right? Some of us have made some financial mistakes or mistakes in general with life. And you know, we're only human. That's, we have to still continue to try new things. We have to forgive and move on and try new things anyway. Being open to the miracles of life here. Let's see what else we have here. Again, it's an unofficial deck that may or may not be loosely connected to Schitt's Creek. Okay. All right, Five of Swords. Okay, so here we have some, um, well, I would describe them all as pretty non athletic, but <laughs> they're, they're trying it out, they're giving it a try, right? They're going to give it a try anyway. Maybe we have some Red Red Sox fans here. All right. Um, because we do have the B on the on the hat here in the colors, Red Sox. But it could really be anything. Um, Five of Swords is, you know, str strategy. How, how are you going to make this happen? First, you have to step up to the plate. Right? So some of you have done that. And that's that's awesome. So congratulations on that. You have that, I just saw that take the plunge card again, right? So anything I say here, Libra and Collective, it is not to criticize, judge, put you down, make you feel bad, anything like that. It's actually the opposite. I do try to motivate and inspire uh, based on personal experience and what the energy feels like in these readings. And so um, that's, that's what it's about. So if you find my advice, you know, ridiculous or whatever, I'm... Sorry, but maybe you can find a different channel that you prefer. But anyway, I hope you do stay. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see what else we have. In other words, you don't have to listen to anything I say. Oh, what's this? Page of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, their prices will not be undersold. Okay, so you will not be undersold. But you're not going to be allowing yourself to be um, looked past, I feel like. And I also feel like you're not going to allow yourself to be made look like to look like a fool again. And for some of you, that, that could be something that's worrying you, that's holding you back. Maybe you're wanting to, um, you, know, d you know, do all the things here. Live your truth and take the plunge and all that and get some insight and all that. But it's like you don't want to be, you don't want to make the same mistakes. You know, but I feel like there's a lot of maturity here that has happened. You have this king of cups. You don't get to be in king status, king, queen, same to me, um, just by, uh, by, you know, he has a lot of wisdom. Maybe he had, maybe some mistakes were made and they weren't even his fault necessarily, but 
He's not letting that stop him from still trying, trying to get that dream back, trying to get his Ten of Pentacles or their Ten of Pentacles, okay? So there it is, the Rosebud Motel, all right? Uh, it used to just be called the Rose Motel, but now it's Rosebud because they partnered with somebody. So maybe you're partnering somebody. But this is, um, you know, uh, also not just about uh, family legacy, but like who you count as your family. You know, some of you may count... Um, someone you've known for a long time as, as family, but there is some sort of, there's a focus here on extending your network here, Libra and Collective. This deck is actually really good. It's quite intuitive. I did find it on uh, Etsy, so. Let's see. I had been listing decks in the description box and I may or may not continue to do that. It's better if I just announce them when I'm using them probably. Eight of Pentacles. So this is um this is a you've done the hard work you've make you're making it happen and now you have people lining up for what you have to offer. Some of you may be having your own opening or launching. Celebrate though. This is the launch party. Have a have a party. You know, it, it, you know your little steps along the way even. Okay. It's funny. I had apothecary pop up in my mind uh, before this reading. Well before this reading. So maybe that's something that you're into. Um, soaps, lotions, things of that nature, things smelling good. You have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups celebration. Now, some of you, I mean, it did come down in reverse. So some of you may be feeling it difficult to find anything to celebrate about, to celebrate, you know. But you're, there is, there is, it is going to come in. There's, it has to, right? Eventually something has to give. And I feel as though maybe some of you say that and pray for that, like, and, and, and that's true. Eventually, yes. Most of the situations we're in in life are temporary. Doesn't make them easy though, right? Can feel like forever when we're in them, but you have judgment. It's really, it's up to you. I mean, you have angelic support here, but it is up to you to make that call. Some of you are actually going to get a call. You're going to hear something you like. Now, this could be either from your higher self, from your guides, or it could be an actual um, opportunity in business or having to do with resources in general. But are you going to sign? You have to decide. It, you know, look things over carefully, too. Look things over carefully. Any sort of paperwork or things you need to be getting. Oh, okay. The sun. Look at that. There's Moira shining brightly. This is when she actually makes her comeback. So there's a comeback here. There's a very come there's a comeback energy. Okay. Hmm. I should say it's someone who resembles these characters since it's an unofficial deck. But boy, they did a wonderful job. They did a great job with this deck. Um <clears throat> Judgment in the Sun. So you have the sun. So things are going to become more clear. But I just, I need a little clarification on that because yeah, the sun is, you know, this happy card in the deck, but I don't want to just say over and over in readings, like everybody, you know, oh, well, you know, it's going to all be great and it's all going to work out and da, da, da. Well, for some, maybe, but for others, it's a, maybe a little more complicated than that. And I do want to get more information on that. There's something here that's holding you up possibly um, in order to really experience and, and believe in that sun. But there is something here about uh, renewed vitality. There could be something coming in that, that helps you out, makes you feel a little more um, abundant, possibly. And get some information. Let's see here. Receipts. Make sure you're keeping track of your receipts here, especially for entrepreneurs. I am going to pull cards specific to entrepreneurship uh, in a bit. And then you have a job offer. So this is it. I knew I was going to get job offer. And look at, and there's uh, this whole deck. You know, there's only one job offer. So job offer here. Will you accept this offer from the universe or from an actual potential employer? Will you accept this, maybe this newfound skill and talent? Are you going to use it? Definitely make sure you yourself are keeping track and documenting, have some sort of system of keeping track of things. Maybe I'm um, getting information now about keeping track of not just like your, your um, profits when it comes to like financial gains and losses, but even life. Like, and you'll realize that maybe it has felt like it's all been 
been a certain way, but maybe, you know, there is a little bit of balance and you've had some indication that, you know, there hasn't just been all losses. There have been some gains along the way. They might not necessarily be in the terms of dollars in the account, but but there have been other gains. You've certainly, uh, I'll tell you, a lot of wisdom here, you know, a lot of wisdom along the way. I'm just hearing someone feels maybe, maybe they're being punished. Let me get a card on this. Mm, I think we need to surrender a belief here about that. Because that can actually be um, a very limiting uh, mindset that could be preventing uh, abundance from coming in. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying that our mindsets do affect our reality. So careful what we're thinking of. So surrender your fear of change. Okay, so there could be something that, you know, that's holding you back. Maybe it is a fear of change. But again, it's not, I'm not saying it's your fault, but I'm saying that there is a, a, you know, there's an energy coming in of that. That's why I said it's not that simple. There was something here that's not that simple about this. Um, I think a lot of us have money blocks. We'll pull cards specific on that. But this is about the universe reminding you, you are cared for always, okay? You're always cared for. From the very beginning, the first card we, pull, we pulled all the way to this judgment, all the sun, I mean, it, it, that those are two angelically assisted cards, okay? You're going to have help on the way. You are being assisted. You may not always feel it or see it though, all right? Sometimes things are happening behind the scenes that we don't know about, right? So whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. Maybe type that into the comments for everyone to see. Give it a little oomph, you know? Give it a little oomph that you're making it known. All right. Um, what else? I want to get an angelic. This is the intuitive, the um, the intuit angel oracle. This the last deck was um, the something the power of surrender. I think. Ambriel. So you have angel Ambriel. This is Gemini energy. Okay, and Ambriel's the patron of psychics and students. So in your weekly reading, you just had um, for this la for this upcoming for this week, I should say, um, there is something here about you know you having what it takes right now to make something happen and not being afraid to start over or to um, or to be new to be a student at something. Okay, um, it doesn't matter how old you are. This is about clarity, psychic protection, inspiring curiosity intellectual side communication that's libra energy <laughs> and and gemini yep and this is about having an aha moment that could definitely this when these two cards come together like this for me that is the aha moment when we get sun into judgment that's the big aha moment and it's like oh now i'm feeling fine i'm working with the divine yes all right so this could be new vitality coming in okay I don't know if you saw that, but the lights just flickered massively when I said that. You're so you're going to get you're getting signs, okay? You are um, it's gonna something's gonna help you illuminate things, and as a result, you'll illuminate you'll illuminate. It's as though you're gonna just shine brighter because you you have that clarity. All right. So this is a clear mental fog and doubt. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. And look at this. Okay, this is I love this. She says, I clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit. Wow. So this is staying positive. You may have a connection to the month of May. Could be someone's birthday passing. I'm getting mother energy too. Okay, now they're just, I'm getting all, these lights are flickering so much here right now. It is really kind of funny. It's all right. So anyway, I, I'll, I won't get distracted by that. But there's a, there's a story behind this. And I've had the electricity checked multiple times, by the way. And it's also a new structure. So there is nothing wrong. And it only happens in this room. So <laughs> and this is where I do all of this, the energy work and stuff. This is where I, I, I know my Reiki space and um, intuitive work. Let's see here. Now I want to get a message from the universe here on this. We're going to get some um, block or no, actually first I'm getting 
um, a money block card. All right, let's get a money block block card. Ooh, look at that, that flipped. Okay, bad decisions. So, um, <clears throat> now their their financial person in this, in this story here, uh, they they made he made some bad decisions, right? Um, but this is about you making better decisions than what that person made. Okay, this is like if you ignore your intuition, you'll suffer the effects. So follow that intuition. If things are not going well, it's best not to make important decisions during this time. Wait until you're in a good frame of mind and have gathered enough information to make an informed decision. That's what this is. You'll be making a decision. Make sure you're clear though. Make it from a calm, grounded place, all right? The chariot, because once you decide, that chariot moves fast. Okay, so we want to make sure we're heading it where you want to head. Let's see what else we have. Any other blocks? Potentially limiting blocks. This is the Maruka X um, Money Blocks deck. And this one was Messages from the Universe. And yeah. Oh, and this one was the Money and Job Bank or Job Cards. The Job Offer one. Okay. What do we have here? What do we have? Okay, another money block could be doing it the hard way. Not everything that's worth having has to be such a challenge to get. All right, I'm going to say that again. Not everything worth having has to be such a challenge to get. How can you make yourself, how can you make things easier on yourself, right? For example, um, I it takes me a lot of time and effort to like go through and type every single deck I use in a reading. Sometimes I'll have a list of like 20 something decks that I use in a single reading. I'm a collector, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I don't I want these decks to be fresh. <laughs> but uh, it was a lot, it's a lot of work for me. So because people end up not seeing that list and they ask anyway, I, I think it's more helpful for viewers if I just say the cards as I use them when I remember, okay? That saves us the back and forth and uh, me typing all that for nothing. Okay, let's see here. Doing it the hard way. So this is about working harder, not smart, or working smarter, not harder. <laughs> and that's like what I'm, you know, I the things I say on this channel, I'm implementing myself. So there's an example of me. Um, I was, before this reading, in fact, I was trying to decide, should I still list them or not? And I decided, I don't think I will. And then we pull this card, doing things the hard way instead of trying to find an easier way. Or one that benefits the group. You know, sometimes the easier way does benefit the most people. So this is finding ways that you can pursue success in a way that won't strain or drain your energy or time. This is about things that come easier to you will be the things you will find most success in, right? We tend to be attracted to what we're good at too. Let's get some other, uh, oh, now a message from the universe, all right? Choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several open uh, other doors bringing new experiences into your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. Mm -hmm. So this is, that's it. You're one choice away with this, with this, whatever this is, whatever this decision is, you are one choice away. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, uh, that's probably going to be our title there, honestly, because I feel like a lot of this, it's also not just that, that though, but it's, it's also, um, just about sticking like stick to itiveness too. Right. Um, and it just, the, the belief, the one over here where it said, I care for money, money cares for me. No, I am open to brilliant ideas and opportunities. It is safe to let go of limitations. That's another one too, I feel really resonates for this reading as a general statement about it. So you will be surprised and grateful for how everything happened the way it did, uh, the way it did for you to receive better and greater. Okay, I'll start over. You will soon be surprised and grateful for how everything happened the way it did for you to receive better and greater. It's all adding up in your favor. Trust the process and how things are unfolding. You may be sick of hearing that, but just keep at it. Keep going. Don't give up on your dreams. Mm -mm, not on this channel. You're not giving up on your dreams with me. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. Um, I want to get you... 
Um, a Three Little Birds deck or card. This is from um, Kisses from Ibiza, and it's the Three Little Birds deck based on the Bob Marley and the Mothers song, Three Little Birds, which happens to be my favorite song. Unburden. Release the weight of your worries and embrace the lightness of faith. For in every moment, there's an opportunity for things to be all right. This is a cool deck, huh? It looks like a three-dimensional. I love that. So even in the darkest moments, there's still light. When the sun's not shining, there's clouds in the way. The sun is still there. We just can't see it much that day, right? Still there, though. Maybe someone's out of your life, okay, as well. And you're wondering, you know, maybe they've crossed over. If they're still there. I just got a message. Yes. They still love you. They're still there. Just because we can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. You can still maybe feel the presence, the warmth. Just like with the sun, we can still feel warmth even though we can't see it. All right, so there is something here about even though you can't see something, you can live in joy and abundance right now. You don't have to have it all figured out, have it all perfect. It doesn't have to all be delivered, but it's a choice. And here we have wish come true. This actually for some of you is gonna to connect to the person who crossed over. All right, so this is your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries, it's still just what you needed. Those little two tiny seeds, right? They're going to go and they're going to plant and they're going to actually even become beautiful dandelions someday. Dandelions, I should say. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get a little more insight into, well, you know, let's, let's see how we can get our vibration up here because some of us I know are just feeling kind of down. Let's see what we can do here. This is the high vibration deck. I think it's by somebody named Becky Moore. High vibe deck. Inspiration. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Buddha. I knew Buddha was going to show up in this reading beforehand. I almost put him on the table. All right. And then released. So here's our exercise. All right. I'm going to read it for us. When you are upset or frustrated... Holding on to the negative emotion lowers your vibration. To release it, journal about your feelings. Talk to a friend or confront the problem. After the release of the emotion, your vibration will be elevated. If you keep going back to the problem in your mind, you will keep lowering your vibration. Remember, a release of an emotion is not a low vibration. It's just a different vibration. So releasing something can bring about its own anxiety, you know? Sometimes we, like, for example, um, for a while after, um, um, for a while after my siblings passed, I was like, you know, I don't, I can't live like they're supposed to be here. And so fast forward, if you don't like touching personal heartfelt stories from the tarot reader, <laughs> but but yeah, I didn't know how I was supposed to go on. And like, I didn't feel like I should be here because they didn't get to be here. Um, and I held on to that. And it really held me back for a long time because um, it was like, I had this guilt almost that if I stopped grieving, that I'm not honoring them properly um, or that it wouldn't be fair, you know, typical Libra, that it wouldn't be, it's not fair for me to be happy or to enjoy this meal or to enjoy this or that because they, didn't, they don't get to have that. And, you know, they struggled at the end of their lives. You know, they didn't get to have nice meal or they didn't get to have, you know, one of my siblings was struggling with housing. Like, you know, he didn't get to have a place, nice, a warm place in the winter. Like that's, that was not anything that, um, that I did, but I still held on to that guilt because we just, we do that. It's like letting go of things that are so painful, like guilt and loss that is not your fault. That's holding us back sometimes, and we don't even realize it. When I was in those dark moments, I didn't even realize it. So I encourage you to explore what things in your life, and they're probably not going to be that huge, you know, maybe. That was an, that's a kind of an extreme example, but maybe you have small things even that are holding you back. Someone's uh, rotten statement that they said to you when you were growing up, or what a teacher said about your writing. Who cares? Like, you know, I mean, I know I'm not, trying to, not minimizing. I'm saying who cares what they think? 
right? If you feel the desire to write or to run or to work out or to, to be this or do that, do it, go for it. Don't let someone else's uh, mistakes jeopardize your entire future. And if somebody, you know, losing somebody, I mean, that's like I said, that's the ultimate example of like, you know, loss, losing a person. But um, it, it's still, it's like, it takes a lot of courage to then pick yourself up and go on after that and release yourself from that guilt. It's actually scary to do it. And you wouldn't think it would be. You'd think, oh, it's just great. It's like, oh, I've let that go. I've done this. I've done that. I've forgiven. I've done this. I, you know, well, sometimes it takes a while. So give yourself some compassion there in the, in the period where you're adjusting to changing your vibration. Because sometimes that spiritual growth, that uh, leveling up, the um, spiritual awakenings that we experience and things, they can be pretty exhausting and they can be pretty scary and they come with their own challenges, metaphysically speaking. You know, a doctor might say that's not true, but we know what's true for us. We, we get to decide our reality, but yeah. So whatever is, um, if it's, if it's something didn't work out before you tried this type of job, or whatever, but you're still thinking about it, maybe try it somewhere else or do it a little differently. Okay. If you tried having a business and it didn't go through or you've done it multiple times, there's still, you still have ideas. You still, you know, maybe things are different now. The market's different. Maybe this or that, you know, there's things that change. So please, I encourage you to not let things hold you back. No matter how big they are, see if you can get a way to release yourself and get yourself unstuck. And, you know, for me, and I'm not ashamed of this, uh, for me, I actually, I found uh, talk therapy helpful. So, you know, if that's something, you know, maybe you look up, a lot of the times you can do it online now too. So that's, that's handy. That's handy dandy. All right, let's see here. And my heart really goes out to you those of you who have, have had these big losses here that you're still feeling as though you need to carry around or aren't sure how to release because that's a, that's a heavy burden to, to carry. Um, and you don't have to do it alone, okay? You have reflection. So take time to... Re <laughs> take, look at this figures, right? Take time to re revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you don't like will show you what you do want to do, Right? That's like with dating, you know, we find out what we don't want in a relationship, you know, in order to realize what we like, we find out what we don't like, you know, you go through a lot of, uh, what is it, rotten apples or what is it, what is it, rotten egg, no, um, I don't know, I confuse those kind of sayings like that, idioms and things, <laughs> anyway, um, so, right, reflection time, and you're getting that, listen for the moments of stillness and the silence, right? You should be your own loudest voice in your life, right? You, the voice in your head should be louder than the others, right? Okay, let's get entrepreneurial messages here. So if you're an entrepreneur, a couple of things are coming up here. All right, let's see here. You have accounting. And this is again like, um, so you're getting mother energy here, Owl. I just saw 333, three, three, so... You're actually, you could have, your ancestors could be helping you and blessing you with opportunities here. Like you may be going to an interview and you find, uh, you know, that on the wall there's an owl or a, a painting of a lighthouse or something and that connects you to that loved one. There, That's their sign to you that they're there for you. They're looking out for you. And so if you do or don't get that position, you know that it was divinely, uh, it, your guides helped you with whatever then happened, okay? That's what I mean too by you're not alone. The word accounting comes from accountability. If you are going to be rich, you need to be accountable for your money. And that's a quote by Robert Kiyosaki, businessman and author. So for each sale or expense, you want to track the time, the date. Remember, this is what we have by receipts, okay? And I was getting that before this reading even started. It's really important for us to track things, including our wins in life, okay? Make sure you're tra tracking those. Maybe put them on a timeline, timeline the things you've overcome. And in such a period of time, you know, so it's necessary for taxes, for business planning, fundraising and more. Okay. So really definitely, even if it's like your old school, like I can be sometimes, and you just want to write it down in like an old fashioned ledger, do that, you know, but at least document it somewhere. Then you can put it in a computer later on. So this is about some questions to ask are how can you save time by using spreadsheets or software, automating or integrating with existing systems and logging entries in chunks? 
I do it once a month, so I'm not doing it all the time, you know. One time I waited till like the whole year and that was not fun. So every few months, maybe every quarter, so every, uh, you know, March, July, October, and December or whatever. Okay, so also, are you financial, are your financial tracks, tractions, <laughs> are your financial transactions easy to track yourself or should you delegate? If things too complicated and that's not your thing, you know, maybe you're like, you know, like me, you know, you're in energy work and stuff, but you don't really love having to make a spreadsheet. Maybe somebody else helps you do that, right? Maybe you have a family or family member, a friend, or if you don't, you know, and you end up doing it yourself, well, you don't have to do an actual spreadsheet if you don't know Excel or something. You can just, you know, make a table or, you know, or something, right, um, in a Word document or whatever you use. Okay, so there are ways around that, card 36. The most important thing is that you have it somewhere. And next you have website, card 44. These are the success cards, by the way. It's like an independent thing I found on Etsy. So success cards is what it's called. And I think it's like www.successcards or something. All right, so website. Websites promote you 24 seven. No employee will do that. That's true. The website's working even when you're asleep, right? So that's by Paul Cookson. Websites are essential these days for product discovery, information, sales, updates, recruiting, press kit hosting, hours of operations, customer support, manuals, and more. A lot of businesses don't have phones anymore because we have websites. Space was saved on these cards by offloading business term definitions to our website. Oh, funny www.success.cards. That's where they also post updates and host a community. So that that's kind of the headquarters for them, you know, that website. But then they have these cards and it's like, then they have more information on their website. So it's important to have one, even if it's very simple. A lot of them you can get for free to a basic web page even. So what, you know, you just need to decide what absolutely needs to be on there, um, what must be online and then you know, and, and start with that, okay? And can you save time and money using some sort of template, WordPress, or hosted by some sort of website builder like Wix, Weebly, or Squarespace, okay? So those are all things to think about if you're an entrepreneur. Let's move on and get an Abriel, or Abiola Abrams African Goddess Rising card. Today, you have Mojaji. Oh, and manifestation. What if? What do you know? Card nine, Mojaji, all about manifestation. And this is a deck that is all about lots of stuff, not just money and career. So the element here is water. This is the, um, she's a South African goddess. She's the hereditary rain queen of South Africa's Balibadu people. Um, so her daughters dance to the frequency of rain. And she taught them how to do that. So this is about showers of blessings coming in for you okay this is about you being a rain maker make it rain this is where it came from right make it rain is like when they want crops to grow you know uh or still some some cultures you know they'll do rain dances and things right we make it rain that's how you get things to harvest this is about being a shapeshifter an alchemist you know opening your hands opening your heart to that fine fine divine abundance look at that look at it. she's all open to it yeah, there's clouds in the sky. She's still going to dance. She's dancing in the rain. This is about divine blessings flowing to you easily. Maybe you want to type that in the comments. Up to you. Divine blessings flow to me so easily. So this is matching your energetic frequency, okay? With your desire. Closing your eyes, seeing your blessings. Feel them, smell them, taste them, touch them, hear them. Whatever it is, right? Ask, believe, allow, receive. We do have to take action though, right? So it's more like ask, believe, act, allow, receive, right? So this is, you're, you're manifesting, you're manifesting big. It's been a long time coming, but you are a co-creator with spirit, right? And your numbers card, it was stuck on my arm. I, I had the deck like this. <laughs> I was underneath me and I went like that and it's stuck. So this is your card, a sign of encouragement, card 44. Keep going as your hard work will pay off. There it is. I'm actually pulling a numbers card now, I think, for, um, oh, you know, I want to get an animal card because I always do that in every reading and that's what I want to do. So let's do that for you. Let's get, let's tune in for animal cards here for 
the collective and then we'll do sign specific cards if you enjoy this type of reading please show your support by liking commenting subscribing it's all free and thank you to those of you who have become a member i appreciate that um, and as well as um, give back with super chat super thanks in the readings here i appreciate that crocodile the most profound transformations often occur in the stillness and quiet moments have patience So I'm trying to see here. Do we want to do a numbers card so you can find out, figure it like um, get messages regarding the num numerics and synchronicities you may seeing, or do we want to do an animal card? I heard numbers, so we're going to do numbers. All right, we'll do numbers. So Libra, start with Libra and go through the zodiac. Libra, you may be seeing this angel number. Look up what it means. Think about what it says on this card now, okay? So these are the confirmation of your blessings to come here. Here we have 555 five, five, Libra. So you may be seeing this number or you will. It's a sign of transformation about you expecting the unexpected. This is good. Expect the unexpected. Sometimes though we do get towers, right? We know that. We've had the tower a lot in readings. Not just Libras, every sign. Sometimes we need them to come in and start over, right? Then you have um, for Scorpio, 88. Sign of enlightenment. You may resonate with number 88. This is about you have achieved wisdom and you find success. Very nice. Next we have Sag. 111, sign of manifestation. This is keeping positive thoughts as you manifest things quickly. Thoughts become things. Let's do uh, Capricorn. Two, 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 sign of expansion. Your spirit, mind, and soul are growing. Next. We're going to go into Aquarius. Five, five. A sign of positive change. Maybe you resonate with um, um, Libra, too, by the way. Aquarius. Because they had five, five, five. You have five, five. Pisces, I heard 444, right? And there it is, 444. You are guided and protected. Angel guides, spirit guides watch over you with love and encouragement. After Pisces, we have Aries, right? Yeah. 777, a sign of divine guidance. So you're connecting with your spiritual guides. When you see this number, that's them confirming. They're making the connection. They're with you. Taurus, 888, a sign of abundance. That's fabulous, right? You will have great success coming your way, Taurus. And next we have, um, I think I'll do element cards right after this, like an, an, maybe an animal card for each element. Okay, so after Taurus, uh, Gemini, 1111, Gemini. A sign of spiritual awakenings. This is you being drawn to higher vibrations. I just heard Kelly and I heard waters or water. Okay, next we have cancer. Triple six. This is a sign to leave doubt behind. Release and heal for greater things to come. I also saw 333 three, three on the clock. So cancer, you actually have 333 three, three as well. Leo, I heard metamorphosis, big change for you, Leo. Two, 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 a sign of balance and harmony. Maintain your balance with positivity. Next, we have Leo. Did I say Leo? Wait, yeah, Cancer, Leo, um, Virgo, nine, nine, nine. Sign of completion. So you're finishing up a chapter to start another one. And that's actually, we're finishing up this to start another. Um, we're going to go and pull a card for air. Let's get an animal card for air. We have otter. So otter says, 
Let go of stress and worry. All is given to you in divine flow if, you're, if you'll allow it to come to you. All is given in divine flow if you'll allow it. There's such a focus here of if you'll allow, right? If we'll allow. And so that's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have rhinoceros. This is a deck by Britta Bowman, too, one of her animal decks. Protect your well-being and stand up for what you hold dear. Embody the warrior within. Fire. Leo Sagittarius. You have Python. Python. Ignite the fire of your ambition. Seek what truly fuels your soul and go confidently after it. And then we have our Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you have eagle, one of my personal favorites, eagle, although I love otter too. Okay, soar to new heights with confidence. You're capable of rising above life's challenges. And there it is. And by the way, happy birthday to the Virgos. And I did do a Virgo season reading. Feel free to check that out. I have one final message for the collective. This is the key elements deck. Key elements deck. Um, yeah. Whoa. Turn over a new leaf. That's the message for everyone. Renew. A second chance is being given to transform yourself or the situation. Let the lessons of the past serve as a catalyst for a clean slate moving forward. Oh my goodness. That's, that summarizes this reading beautifully. I love it. Thank you, spirit. Guides, angels, thank you so much. God, everybody, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guides. Okay. That's exactly what we were talking about with the whole Schitt's Creek and all that. Like, it's a chance to start over. It's a second chance uh, for some of you, okay? And it's a chance to implement the wisdom you've already learned. So in a sense, we're not starting all over. We have our life experience. We still have our degree or education or whatever. Everything you've learned, you know, you you have that. You can't, and, you know, and that's... that's um, that's, that's the kind of thing that really sets you apart from others, your own individual wisdom and life experiences, okay? So do consider liking this reading, um, giving it a thumbs up. That would be great. Thanks. And maybe subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And that way, when you sub subscribe, you don't miss when I go live. Uh, some of you have been uh, unsubscribed by YouTube. It's a glitch, I guess. It happens to other channels, too. It's happened to me. That's I've been unsubscribed to people's channels I like, and then I have to resubscribe. So make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for taking the time to resubscribe. It's only a click, but I still appreciate it. Um, and also, um, you know, consider membership if you like. And Keep your notif notification bell on because then you'll know when I go live because sometimes I'll announce it and other times I won't. So um, I wasn't sure if I was going to always announce it and sometimes I'm not going to. I'm just going to go live and whoever's there is there. So you'll know if you have that bell on. Okay, so um, thank you all. I just saw 4747, otherwise known as 1111. So yep, this is a real spiritual awakenings happening and I wish you all the best. Thank you.